Australia starts afresh in 2014. Brand new 460 horsepower Porsche 911s are about to be unleashed on the series. Away we go on the streets of Adelaide. Who will rise and who will fall? No one really knows. But one thing is for sure, the streets of Adelaide are a tough place to try and tame these racing thoroughbreds. and welcome to the streets of Adelaide. It is the start of a brand new season of Porsche Carrera Cup racing. The great thing about this year too, all new cars, all 23 cars are brand new from Porsche Motorsport in Germany. It's the Type 991 Porsche race car. These cars are a little bit longer in the wheelbase. They've also got a paddle shift gearbox for the very first time, but things haven't really changed in a couple of instances. Car number one is still this man, Craig Baird, the five-time series champion, is shooting for six this year. There's a full field that are trying to stop him of professional and elite class drivers with a few drivers coming back from other series as well, a few making their debuts and a really big pack who are really keen to beat the Gold Coast based Kiwi. Carrera Cup is where the rising stars of motorsport grid up alongside some of the most talented professional drivers in the country. And they don't come more highly regarded in this category than the Carrera Cup maestro. Five times champion Craig hasn't done any testing. The car's a big step up from last year. Um, in some ways they're so good it's almost like cheating. Um, I like the old style car where you had to manhandle it and you, there was a lot of driver input as far as even gear shifting, downshifting. These cars are so good and so much electronics comes into our sport that sometimes it spoils us. The only driver to put an end to Craig Baird's clean sweep at Adelaide last year was Stephen Richards, who claimed victory in race three. He's convinced this year will be the most competitive championship yet. The new cars are obviously... Well, from, from my perspective, thinking about them, they're, they're, a, they're a bit of a game changer potentially. You know, everyone's got to learn about this new generation of car. The previous car models that, that the teams had really had been around since even 2006. So the reality is now everyone's learning a, a, a totally new beast. Another challenge for victory on the streets of Adelaide is likely to come from Warren Luff. Although technically a rookie in this category last year, Luff won't be holding back in his hunt for the championship title this time round. Last year we were happy to end up third in the championship, but look, we're, we're, we're aiming to go a lot better this year. We want to win more races, win the championship, but obviously, look, the competition level is going to be incredibly high. Uh, we've got 23 cars on the grid here, uh, and I think the whole championship is going to be a lot more competitive. So uh, race wins are going to be uh, hard to come by, but certainly very, very enjoyable. Also expected to be in the fight is Michael Patrizzi, who claims some race wins and finished fifth overall. Nick Foster, who returns after a year out of the sport, and the ever-improving Shay Davies. Seven drivers will make their Carrera Cup debut, including Formula Ford graduate Sam Power, who steps into the seat vacated by Nick Perkat. Oh, it, look, it's been a, a, a very stark change from, from Formula Ford to jump into one of these. Uh, whether you look at the weight, whether you look at the horsepower, paddle shifts, uh, it's all completely different. But it's, it's, a, it's an amazing challenge nonetheless, and to be doing it at Clipsal is uh, even more special again. Adelaide-based racer Michael Armand will make his debut after competing in the second-tier Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Series for the past two seasons. I'm a late starter. I'm 29. Um, I've been lucky enough to do a lot of racing in, in, in the past two years, uh, but by all means, I've got a long way to go. Um, and entering the Carrera Cup, you know, trying to nibble at the heels of the guys at the front is really going to be helpful. In the elite category, Tony Bates had a horror crash at Clipsal last year, which cost him dearly. He says the time has come to give the Elite Series title a serious shake-up. The transition from Development Series V8 car to the Porsche sort of isn't an easy one, and, uh, you know, even some of the main game guys here have spoken about it takes a little while to get used to the characteristics of the of the Porsche but uh, in our year three now I'm uh, I'm up to date with what the abilities of the car are and certainly these new cars are a lot easier to drive and uh, they're a lot faster and a lot more fun so yeah I'm hoping that we can put it together with uh, two years of experience under our belt now. And the man who's put it together in qualifying is Shay Davies. The Gold Coast are taking his first career tag, Hoya Pole Position Award in Porsche Carrera Cup, one second faster than last year's qualifying record. Stay with us after the break. All the action from race one.
This is round one of the Porsche Carrera Cup. The arrival of the new 911 GT3 Cup cars certainly threw up a few surprises on the grid, but all drivers were looking forward to racing them in anger for the first time. 15 laps ahead, the opening race of 2014 is underway and it's the pole man Shay Davies who leads us to the centre chicane. He's up and over the kerb. Stephen Richards next, then Warren Luff. Two-time Adelaide Carrera Cup round winner Alex Davison's with me. The sun at this late stage of the day is difficult. Very difficult in the bumpy braking era for turn four. We see Steve Richards pushing Shay Davies through turn four on the first lap. Run down to turn eight. Stephen Richards hanging on. Warren Luff really closing in. These cars are so quick through here. And Richards defend. Big commitment from Warren Luff through turn eight. Then he's trying around the outside, but that isn't going to work. You're not going to pass Steve Richards around the outside there. On board now with a 777 car. Nick Foster back in the championship this weekend. Formerly drove here a couple of years ago. Lap car here. Dean Kutsamidis. Shay Davies goes right. He goes left. This is slowed him down. That is so close. Richards is down the inside and takes the lead of the race. This is unbelievable. That was exciting. Steve Richards squeezed right between the lap car and the wall. And then round the outside of Kutsamidis. Big commitment from Steve there and a great move. He really read the traffic well. Now it's all about settling back in and getting running, but there's been a major change. So we've got Steve Richards out in front. Warren Love's moved up to second place, and poor Shea Davies has gone from first to third in one move. He'll be devastated and pushing hard to try and get back to the front. Luff looks really menacing back with the McElroy Racing team this year. Of course, Stephen Richards running his own car. He's around. Richards has spun out. That is very unusual for a professional guy like Steve Richards to have a spin all by himself. He'll be kicking himself. And now he's got to wait for the traffic and he gets running again. Great chance here to see who is where. There's Warren Luff. Shay Davies next through. Then Nick Foster. Fight for fourth here. Michael Patrizzi, Nick McBride, Silva Champariachi, Sam Power and Steve Richards who's recovering and closing in. We'll see Steve. Oh, oh. and Michael patrizzi has got a problem coming out of turn nine. But he's still fighting for his position oh, side by side through turn close. 11. This is real close. A little bit of contact oh. on both sides there for Nick Foster. And look at Pagliacci down the inside, up and oh. over the kerb, trying to get through. Trying to go round the outside at turn 13. That won't happen. Pagliacci looks like he's got a drama. That on-site Porsche does not look to be travelling exactly how it should be. And look at them all now, just fire straight on past. I think he must have a gearbox problem because he once he got up to speed, he was fine, but it wasn't accelerating off the corner. But fantastic racing either way. Side by side for three corners. We've got Steve Richards battling back through the field there. He'll be uh, upset at himself for that mistake he made earlier and pushing hard to make amends. Richards fourth in the championship in 2013. He's up against some young guns here. Sam Power on debut, third in Formula Ford last year. Really impressive with Team BRM effectively taking over Nick Perkat's seat from last year. And now, though, Richards down the inside. He's got part of the car in the gap. He'll get this done. It's a nice clean pass for Richo, picking them off. It's closing up at the front. Warren Luff leads the way. Shay Davies is closing in. He has got a really fast race car. Shay Davies has had fantastic speed all weekend. We saw that in qualifying. Whoa, and a big whoa, whoa, rear whoa. brake lock-up. Very loose over the bumps into turn four, but he's hung on to it well. Unfortunately for him, all the hard work he'd done catching up to Warren Luff has been undone. Through turn eight, Stephen Richards still on this recovery mission. Duvischan Padiacci is next on the list. That's an easy move, and Richards moves on through. So he starts to work his way forward. He's got a very fast car, but just has not... I, I still can't believe that spin before. Yeah, we've seen a lot of cars locking the rear brake. Oh, oh car defence. That's Shay that? Davies. Shay Davies is in the wall on the run back into Victoria Park. For the fastest car on the track, he's... Uh, you know, had all the potential to have a great result in this race, and he's just been pushing a little bit too hard and a few mistakes in the latter part of the race. And we Here's see the him. replay. He's parked in the fence there, which I don't think he's gone in terribly hard. Here we go again. Lost the rear on the way in, put the kerb, and just bumps the fence. We saw he just got unsettled over the kerb there, hit it on the wrong angle, and it's as easy as that. These cars are so stiff, they don't ride the bumps too well. But out front, this guy is going to be the man standing at the end, Warren Luff with the no second chance Porsche. He won one race at Bathurst last year. He starts the new season with new cars in style. Luff wins race one on the streets of Adelaide. Nick Foster, great job to be second. And Nick McBride, his teammate, third on debut. Steve Richards fighting back to fourth place, so that was a good result, salvaging something after his mistake. And Craig Baird qualified tenth, finished eighth. He's really struggling this weekend. 
Tony Bates wins the elite class, but our winner is with Kylie King. Warren Luff, a crazy way to start. It almost seemed like no one wanted to hang on to that lead. It was a madness. Yeah, look, I, I knew I definitely had the speed on Richo, but it was just a matter of trying to sort of find a, a way past. But uh, in the end, I didn't have to. He made it that little bit easier. But look, obviously, look, uh, yeah, fantastic way to start the weekend. We've just got to do a couple more races and then we'll be very happy. There's plenty more action after the break as we check out all the highlights from race two. You're watching the highlights of the Porsche Carrera Cup from the streets of Adelaide. After the chaos of the opening race, there were a few cars deep on the grid that would be trying to charge through the field early in race two. Race two underway, 15 laps ahead, and Warren Luff makes the best jump down to this first chicane, but look for some fast cars coming through. Stephen Richards third. In the background, Craig Baird, look for him. There he is, the red and white. Car number one, very rare that he's this deep in the field for this long in a weekend. Very rare that we see him this deep in the field and not moving forward. Um, these guys better make the most of uh, Berto struggling because you can't keep a good man down and I can't see him staying there all year. There he is, Carnival 1 reigning champ. Again being run by Carl Batson from Porsche Centre Melbourne. Nick Foster in second place and Steve Richards made up one spot from his starting spot so he's up to third, pushing hard to try and get back to the front of the field I'm sure. And Michael Patrizzi just behind there, that number 29 car. Change for him this season, being run by Team BRM from here in South Australia. That's a big, big move, move at turn four. Baird gave him some room to play with. Very tricky spot to overtake people. It's so bumpy. These stiff cars want to jump from bump to bump. Davies keeping the pressure on. Fast man earlier on in the weekend. Set pole position, but it all went wrong in race one. He finished in 11th spot, but he's got serious pace here, and he's all over the back of Baird. He's been the quickest car on the track from, uh, from the first race. He's the quickest car on the track now, and he's moving through the field. Now working in the McElroy Racing Workshop on the Gold Coast. Great fight here. Elite class. Mark Seen, the most experienced Porsche Carrera Cup Australia driver. Ash Samadi behind is coming back this weekend, and Michael Armand on home soil. Armand up the inside of Ash Samadi. A big, bit of a squeeze to the inside there, but he's coming through the field after an accident qualifying. Saw him miss race one. So he's one of the quicker cars out there. Patrizzi and Davies really starting to fight it out. Patrizzi, we got to the bottom of his drama in race one. They had a downshift drama with this car, hence why he really limped it late and finished seventh. See, the, these cars are so quick through turn eight, but Patrizzi blocking into turn nine there. Shea Davies round the outside. These guys having a great battle. These cars so quick through turn eight with the extra downforce these new cup cars have got. Oh, Pettiacci went in really deep there to defend from Craig Baird. This fight continues. Patrizzi and Davies, two young guns. Patrizzi, a former regular in the V8 Supercars Championship. Davies wants to get there one day. This is a good move. He's in really deep here, but he will pull that off. Really? Oh, no, he won't. Oh, a little bit of a touch. Super deep there. We saw black lines getting laid by his rear wheels. Obviously had the rear wheels locked up under brakes there into Turn 9. And Tony Bates flying over the Turn 1 chicane there. Four wheels off the ground. He said he's done two years of learning in the story at the start of the show. Well, he's putting into practice because he is leading the elite class, which is the fight within the fight for, I guess, the amateur gentleman drivers. It's just as equally keenly contested as it is in the professionals at the front. Yeah, we see guys like Tony Bates getting closer and closer to the pace of the front guys every weekend, and they're very good drivers in their own right. Don't, don't forget that. On board with Stephen Richards, putting the pressure on young Nick Foster, who is with the Sonic Motor Racing team, the Bob Jane Team Arts car. Of course, this team won the Carrera Cup Championship with David Reynolds back in 2007. They've been in the Dunlop Series for the last couple of years, but Richards is in the gap here. He's got real pace. He's at the fastest lap of race one on the very last lap of the race. Three laps to go. I don't know if he's going to have time to catch Warren Luff, but he'll be trying. Richards has closed in. He's on Warren Luff. Last time through the high speed turn eight. We're talking 240 odd kilometres per hour. But he just doesn't look quite close enough. And right on the edge, and he's locked up. Oh, he nearly ran into the back of Warren Luff. Steve Richards is pushing hard. We saw him use all the road out of turn eight. He's having a big crack. Last time into Victoria Park, into the race course section, and Richards has zeroed in, but really Luff just needs to defend this final turn at turn Steve 14. Steve loves this spot. He oh. loves having... Oh, He's up over the, the curbs, curbs yep. down the outside. He loves passing at that spot, and he was thinking about it, but Warren had it covered. 
Luff will drive it off the final turn. He will win two races in a row. Well done, Warren Luff. Great fight from Stephen Richards. And Nick Foster, top three once more. Foster's sonic teammate, Nick McBride, great result in fourth place. But what a finish. Steve Richards making up all that ground on Warren Luff. Having as big a go as you can have. It was fantastic to watch. And I'm looking forward to race three. Yeah, sets up a really great final race in this opening round of the championship, but it's Warren Luff, the Holden Racing Team's endurance signing, who claims victory. Richard's home next, Shay Davies with the fastest lap of the race, and once again, Tony Bates wins the elite class. Oh, Richo, a pretty good effort in that one. Made amends for yesterday. I guess you're still kicking yourself. <laughs> yeah, look, let, let a few points slip yesterday, so um, that, that was as good as we could go. Um, Luffy and, and Nick did a, did a really good job in that middle part of the race there, just, just pressing on. It was high, high intensity stuff all the way to the end. It was good fun. When we come back, it's the third and final race from the opening round of the year. This is round one of the 2014 Porsche Carrera Cup. After a strong start, Warren Luff looked on target to take the round win if he could keep it clean around the tough Adelaide street circuit. The start in Porsche Carrera Cup is critical because all the cars are the same and again, Warren Luff will lead into the centre chicane. Richards is next. Look at the way that they leap over those curbs in the background as the guys a bit further back in the pack get themselves rolling, but cold Michelin tyres, now's the time to make some ground. Cars, single file through turn four. We see Warren Luff making another great start. That's a fantastic tool to have as the season goes on because, as we've seen in the past, good start, you know, good starts win your races in the Porsche Carrera Cup. And look at the margin. He's just starting to creep away from Stephen Richards, the Red Bull Racing Australia V8 Supercar Endurance Driver this year with Craig Lowndes. Padiachi up wide over the curb. At Really impressive job from Foster and McBride coming back to the series in the case of Nick Foster debuting in the series, Nick McBride. And Nick Foster, whoa, oh, brushing the wall, really aggressive on the first lap. Nick Foster's always been a hard charger. We've got and Shay Davies down the inside, another young hard charger. He's still coming back from his little incident in the first race. It's such a great mix of young hard chargers and experienced guys in Carrera Cup in 2014. Luff leading the way, Richard settling in, Foster next, Davies, McBride, Sam Power. Sam Power's done a really good job. Straight out of Formula Ford, never raced one of these cars before. Started late in life in his motor racing career down the inside. Nice move. Nick McBride, not normally a place to do it, but he did it. Big move, big move. But how good is it seeing the whole field so compressed? There's a great battle here right through the field. These young guys, Sam Power, first race with a roof over his head, doing fantastically well. A great opportunity to run on board with Sam Power to turn eight. One of the fastest, scariest, most dangerous corners in Australian motorsport, and he left nothing on the table there. Well done. I always pause when you go through turn eight in any car with an onboard camera because you never know what's going to happen. This is Michael Patrizzi defending from Shay Davies, Power, Patiachi, and Craig Baird is not making a mark at all this weekend. It's weird. Just like this, Nick Foster. Foster locking the rear brakes. Another car with rear brake locking issues. Probably need to wind a bit more bias towards the front there. Replay here of Murray Pickering hitting the inside curb, tagging turn eight in the wall. Gets away with it. That's very, very lucky. And this was further around the lap, and he's knocked our camera out. Got Craig Baird still trying to move forward in this pack. Hasn't moved forward since his qualifying position in 10th in the start of the weekend as far as we would normally see him move forward. But pressuring Shay Davies here, who seems to have lost a little bit of pace. Baird down the inside at turn four. And this is the first weekend he's driven his actual race car for this year. No testing in the lead up on board the number one car. Really perplexed about the... The lack of speed, even when he's qualified badly over his history in Carrera Cup, he still chips his way through and comes up with a result at the end of the weekend. That hasn't been the case this weekend. I'm sure we're just seeing a bit of a lack of preparation. As you said, he hasn't driven this car before. Ooh, we've got Shay Davies, another front lock up this time. So he's struggling with his car under brakes a little bit and definitely losing pace. Well, what a weekend it's been for Warren Luff. The final turn is coming up. He'll be the first man to clean sweep a round of Carrera Cup since Craig Baird in Townsville last year. Three from three for the McElroy Racing driver. 180 points in his championship kit bag. That is the perfect way to start the new season. 180 points out of 180 points. The McElroy team will be very, very happy with that. Great way to start the year. And he's the first man to clean sweep the Adelaide round since 
you back in 2004. You must be very, very good then. <laughs> Bluff wins race three. Richards and Foster will be on the podium. Nick McBride next. Sam Power, a great job all weekend. And Michael Armand rounded out the top ten. This new 2014 Cup car is a real game changer. It's really jumbled the order up. It's far from predictable. We don't know what's going to happen next. It's great. Warren Love, how good are these cars to drive for you? You just blasted them all. Yeah, look, this 2014 Cup car is amazing. And look, we've had a fantastic weekend. Obviously, great to get three race wins. Great way to start the championship off. It's been a great weekend, and hopefully we can do it again in a few weeks at the Grand Prix. You've won a lot of things, competed in a lot of things. How special is this to, to clean sweep it here at Adelaide? Look, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Clips for 500 is an iconic Australian motorsport event, and to be able to come here and start the championship off on such a strong note, it's a really fantastic feeling. And he started off with the perfect score. He leads the championship, 30 points clear of Stephen Richards and Nick Foster. Tony Bates leads the elite class, but look at that. Craig Baird, ninth in the points. But Warren Luff will lap it up. It's his second round win in Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. Nick Foster on the podium for the first time in his Carrera Cup career. Stephen Richards will be a championship challenger right throughout the course of 2014. We look forward to seeing you next time we show more action for the Porsche Carrera Cup.